So, welcome to the engineering building. Um, all of this building is, is laboratories. Laboratories for engineering students only. So you can go in and out, but there's no real reason if you're not an engineering student because it's only laboratories. Um, engineering students, to you guys, you guys won't have classes in here. You'll, your labs will only be in here. So your class might be in the science building or, or the business building. That's why I say what, what the buildings are named doesn't really have any bearing on where you're going to be for classes. Um, you'll pass by some of the buildings as we walk through it, or some of the laboratories, sorry, as we walk through it. You'll see some of the science, see what's going on in there. We'll also pass by the academic advising office. There's some great academic advisors here for the engineering faculty that'll help you sort of switch programs if you need to or figure your courses or your course schedule, whatever it might be, they're awesome here. So we'll walk down this hallway, you can see some of the labs. So we're still in the engineering building, but now we're in the ACE Climactic Wind Tunnel side. So behind me is the doors into our wind tunnel, what we call the ACE Wind Tunnel. Um, this is where this is a great resource to have uh, for not only the students, but also the public can come in and use it. So different companies will come in and test vehicles. Um, I, I know there's been some movies and stuff shot here, some TV shows, things like that. Uh, and then again, for our graduate students, they can go in there, they can do co-ops in the ACE. Um, and then undergraduate students will have the opportunity to, to see it as well. It's a great, great resource to have. Um, beside me here are two race cars that are actually student built. So we actually have an Ontario Tech Motorsports Club where students get together and actually put these together and then they test them in the, in the wind tunnel. Whether or not they actually drive them, I'm not sure. That would be really cool. But I know definitely they test them in the wind tunnel. Um, this, the wind tunnel is just open to the public. You can't just sort of come whenever you want. If you want a private tour of the wind tunnel, you can go online and book one on the website. Um, that just has to make sure there's nothing going on, that there's actually somebody available to show you and all that kind of stuff. So it's a really cool resource to have here on campus um, and students seem to really get a kick out of using it. I've been in there a couple of times, it's really cool in there. They have, they have some awesome, awesome resources for the students here.